Hey guys, so we want to try some live experiments, but rather than being in the studio, this time we're actually in Kathmandu in Nepal. We, tomorrow, are trekking up to Everest Base Camp. It's going to take us a couple of weeks to get there and to get back down again. Um, so we thought it'd be a great opportunity to have a look at what changes as you go up higher to a high altitude. Experiment two is to find out whether we can fly a model helicopter at altitude. Um, there is a limit to how high proper helicopters can get to, and that's all down to the air pressure. Um, so let's see how this guy does. So I'm going to call in Nick because it's pretty windy here uh, in Kathmandu, and we're going to fly it off his hands and see how it does. So 1,304 meters, will it fly? <laughs> yes, it will. Straight into the camera. Sorry about that, Tom. Right, let's try again. <laughs> um, yeah, so it clearly flies um, straight into the camera. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll practice a little bit, but at 1,304 meters, the helicopter flies. Wasn't bad down in Kathmandu. Uh, we're now up at 3,500 meters. Let's give it a go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it flew, it definitely got up uh, and hovered, but nowhere near as high as in Kathmandu. Interesting to see what happens if we take it even higher. Go up, go up! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> you see, the reason a helicopter flies is it spins its rotor blades in the air, and that creates a difference in air pressure above and below the blade, and that creates lift. Up here, the air is so, so thin that you hardly get any sort of difference in air pressure around the blade, so it's, there's no way that's ever going to create enough lift. Real helicopters can fly up here, and we see them doing evacuations on a daily basis, but the highest they can go is actually just up the Kumbu Icefall to Camp 1 on the way up to the summit of Mount Everest, which is about 6,100 metres at Camp 1. So yeah, sorry, uh, sorry Hallie. 